Welcome to Demu's Tutorials. This is part 2 of Engineering Materials. In part 2, we are going to learn important properties of materials. Hardness. Hardness is resistance of the material to penetration or compressive deformation. It is also resistance to abrasion, scratching, cutting or shaping. Hardness is very important where moving or revolving parts are in surface contacts with each other. Example, cam and follower, or rail and wheel. Brittleness. Brittle material shows negligible plastic deformation before fracture. Intention test of brittle material. It is observed that there is no region for plastic deformation. As it breaks suddenly after yield point, there will be no necking after elastic limit. Example of brittle material is cast iron. Ductility. Ductile materials have better ability to sustain tensile force in plastic deformation state. This property of material helps in bending, shaping, wire drawing etc. In tensile test of ductile materials. After elastic limit, the thickness or diameter of specimen decreases gradually after necking till fracture. Examples of ductile material are mild steel, copper, and aluminum. Malleability Malleable materials have ability to deform to greater extent before the signs of crack. These materials have very good compression properties. They are extremely useful in sheet metal working, extruding and forging. Examples of ductile material are low carbon steels, copper and aluminum. Resilience Resilience is defined as an ability of the material to absorb energy when deformed elastically and release this energy when unloaded. Resilient material has very good elastic properties. Example is spring steel. A compression or expansion spring must have resilience in it. Toughness Toughness is same as the ductility property. Difference is that ductility deals only with the ability to deform. Whereas toughness considers both the ability to deform and the stress developed during deformation. It is the ability to withstand high unit stress with great deformation without complete fracture. In plastic range, tough material can deform in a great way, while handling the higher stress unlike the ductile materials, where strain is more than stress. Strength Strength refers to resistance to deformation, and also to a large elastic range with minimum strain. A material with high yield strength is the most strong material. Depending upon the type of stresses, Induced by external loads, the strength is expressed as tensile, compressive, or shear strength. Stiffness This is a general term which may be applied to materials or structures. When a force is applied to a structure, there is a displacement in the direction of the force. Stiffness is the ratio of the force divided by the displacement. High stiffness means that a large force produces a small displacement. When discussing the stiffness of a material, the concept is the same, except that stress substitutes for force, and strain substitutes for displacement. If one structural element deforms more than another for the same force, then it is less stiff than the other. Stiffness is important while the specimen is subjected to bend, twist or elongation. Thanks for watching. Log on to dies.biz for more engineering tutorials.